So I think it's also a sign of maturity. Yung kahit ginawang ka ng masama ng isang tao, hina-highlight mo pa rin yung mabubuting bagay na ginawa niya sa iyo. Accepting that there are things that you cannot control. I think that's a part of emotional maturity. Kapag kasi nagre-react ka sa lahat ng bagay na nangyayari sa buhay mo, kahit hindi mo na kayang i-control, hindi ka pa matured nun. So the capacity to explain what you're feeling and the capacity to admit to yourself that you are vulnerable to other people's acts. Vulnerability doesn't have to equate to weakness because yeah. it's what makes us human. So knowing when to give up, And knowing when not to give up and to still fight for it is one sign of maturity. You have to be accountable with what you did and try not to put the weight of your mistakes on other people's yeah. shoulders. We can never be really 100% matured sa buhay. But we can always have a teachable heart to improve ourselves. Welcome to TikToks. A podcast where we try to navigate life by styling our minds, one candid conversation at a time. I'm Jilly. I'm Dave. Come sit down with us and let's have real and raw conversations in anything and everything that will make us live smarter in the real world. Thank you and enjoy listening. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of TikToks. Another episode of Insightful Conversation and Chikahan Jaring Feeling naman ito. And now, actually, just as disclaimer everyone, we're not fully matured individuals. Okay, we are all work in progress. Meron pa rin kaming winiwork sa sarili namin. So, ito ay parang based lang on what we have observed sa mga tao sa paligid namin and to ourselves. But today, we're gonna talk about maturity. How can we say someone is matured? What are the different aspects of maturity? Kasi marami tayong mga, ane, mga tawag dito, mga beliefs na matured na to kapag nakatira mag-isa sa bahay. Matured na to pag marunong na siya maglaba at magsaing. So, we're gonna dig deeper onto that. So, i-define namin ano ba, ano ba talaga yung maturity and ano pa yung mga bagay na we work on namin sa sarili namin ngayon para ma- para mas lalo kaming maging matured. So, my first question to you, Jilly. How will you define maturity? <laughs> And why? Very, Very, good. <laughs> Very beauty queen. Very beauty queen. Okay. So, when we say maturity kasi, we all know that it is definitely a wide topic and it can include intellectual, emotional, and spiritual aspects. But if we search online and uh, come into the very basic meaning of it, maturity is the state of mind that guides a person to act or interact with the world around them. So based as to what we read online, uh, maturity is the ability to respond to the environment and being aware of the correct time and location to behave and knowing when to act according to the circumstances and the culture of the society one lives in. So if we try to analyze that one, it's all about observing and thinking before you act or respond to anything that is happening into your life. Now, meron din namang tinatawag na emotional maturity, which comes from being in tune with your emotions and being honest with yourself about how you are feeling. So we are trying to, you know, address the feelings of in denial, for example. Now, we know there are times that we are at fault, but we are in denial of it or we try not to dwell on it and try to blame other people. Kasi, yeah. uh, aminin man natin sa hindi, may mga ganun tayong instances or um, situations before that we have come to experience. So, yes, I think this is a very wide and serious topic. That's Hihimayin why we're going to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> isa-isahin natin. Oh, sige, mm-hmm. namatay na naman yung camera ko. Don't mind it, guys. So, wait. Sige, ano muna yung isang topic, isang aspect na i-discuss natin sa, in terms of maturity? Maybe we can start with the mm, emotional. Emotional. Or, okay. Sige, okay. sige. Emotional muna, number one. Oh, sige. Mm-hmm. Ano ba? Paano natin masasabi na ang isang tao ay matured emotionally? Oh, ikaw. Sige. Paano mo masasabi yun? Sa so, tingin ko, for me, when you are emotionally mature, you have the capacity to explain and tell someone what you are 
feeling. So, for yeah. example, if someone hurt you or someone made you upset, you can't really expect that person to to be aware of what you are feeling because yeah. yung unnecessary struggles natin in life yeah. and unnecessary overthinking. Now, when someone hurt us, we assume that they know they have hurt us and that they have to compensate for what they did or that they have to say sorry for us. But there are really times and most of the time, they don't know. So I think emotional maturity comes from the, the act of having the courage to tell someone yeah, that, that you really feel. So, you know, dun din papasok yung acceptance or yung pag recognize mo sa sarili mo that you are vulnerable and that's mm. what makes you human. Because, you know, for some people, there there's this thing that we call pride, right? We don't yeah. want to let other people know that what they did has actually hurt us because sometimes we feel embarrassed mm. because if we tell them, it means that they have control over our feelings or what they do really affects us. And sometimes it's really hard to admit that we are affected by other people's acts. Yeah, Maturity comes from the very moment that we acknowledge that we are hurt mm. and next level na yung if you do something about it, if you talk yeah. to the person. If you're really bothered by it, my suggestion or my advice is that you really have to muster that courage to yeah. tell him her that what he or she did is not okay. And it takes a lot of courage, I know, but it's very helpful for us para hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng mga emo- emotional baggage and burdens that can really be addressed in just, you know, communicating to someone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yung ang dami mong iniisip na alam mong oh. masusolusyonan, lapitan mo lang yung tao, sabihin mo lang in your most, exactly. uh, in, the mo- in the simplest of ways, hindi yung sobrang masamang, I mean, you have to, you know, ano yung uh-huh. natin do- Positive phraseology. Positive phraseology, exactly. Yeah. Uh, in the nicest way that you can tell them. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So, ayun. Mm-hmm. So, the capacity to explain what you're feeling and the capacity to admit to yourself that you are vulnerable to other people's acts. Vulnerability doesn't have to equate to weakness because yeah. it's, it's what makes us human. So, we yeah. have to knowledge that one. Wow, that's a very good insight. Gusto ko yung sinabi mo. And dagdag ko lang sa emotional maturity. Bukod sa pagiging honest with what you feel, being assertive, siguro yung pagiging, masasabi kong mature, if you know the timing, when to say it. It's good to communicate what you feel. It's good mm-hmm. to communicate, to become honest with what you feel. But knowing the right timing, when to say it, is also a part of being emotionally matured. So, mayroon ako nabasa, like, last week yata yun, na parang magkaiba yung emotional dumping sa venting. When you say mm-hmm. emotional dumping, parang pag-frustrated ka or, ayun nga, masyado kang emotional, bigla kang mag-PPM ng tao, tapos i-vent mo, i- i- a- ano mo, babagsak mo sa kanya yung nakaramdaman mo. Mm-hmm. When we say venting, nag-ask ka muna ng nagko-consult ka muna sa tao, can I vent? Are you in the right right space ngayon para mag-vent ako? Um, pagod ka ba? Pwede ba akong magkwento? So, I think that's also a part of maturity. Kapag nanghihingi ka ng paalam muna sa kaibigan mo bago ka magkwento, hindi yung bigla-bigla ka na lang na mga aabala, tatawag ka. Na guilty mm-hmm. ako, ganito ang ginagawa ko dati, sobrang guilty ako nito. Pero, ngayon, natutunan ko na rin na mag- magtanong ng consent. Second, is yung accepting that there are things that you cannot control. I think that's a part of emotional maturity. Kapag kasi nag-react ka sa lahat ng bagay na nangyayari sa buhay mo, kahit hindi mo na kayang i-control, hindi ka pa matured nun. What are, what are the example nun? Yung tingin sa'yo ng tao, yung mga chika, chismis sa'yo ng mga tao. Kung nag-react ka sa mga ganun opinion nila, that means medyo hindi ka pa matured emotionally. But if you know when to listen, to whom you will listen, I think you can you can say na, we can say emotionally matured ka na. And yun nga, matured ka na kasi alam mo kung paano mo i-handle yung emotion mo, paano ka, ma- na-accept mo na ang mako-control mo is how you react to it, hindi yung mismong mga tao sa paligid mo. And I think finding the right balance. Like when you're working, kapag hindi nadadala sa trabaho yung 
emotion mo kapag nagde-decide ka hindi puro puso yung pinapairal mo i can say na you are emotionally matured pero minsan may glitches pa yan eh malawak yan eh yang yang emotional maturity malawak yan may mas may micro ano pa yan so may times na sumasabit tayo lalo na pag sobrang tindi ng nararamdaman natin pero yun That's yeah. good. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Next, we've talked about emotions. Maybe we can also talk about impulsiveness since it's still relevant with emotions. So, yung impulsiveness, mm-hmm. marami yan eh. Sige, share tayo ng insights natin about impulsiveness. How can you say someone is matured na sa ganyang aspeto? Sa tingin ko, the most common example that we can relate to is whenever we make decisions when we are at the peak of our emotions. Like, for example, we are angry at someone and then we decide to, you know, do things that we will regret later on. So that's one of the best examples of being impulsive and not thinking what you're, you're doing. So yeah. mm-hmm. um, I have to admit that I am very much guilty with that before. You know, when whenever I'm happy, sabi nga nila, don't make decisions when you are too happy. Don't make decisions yeah. when you are too angry or too sad. So you have to really think about it and reflect on it, sleep mm-hmm. on it. So, ayun, that's one thing that I am still trying to work on. Because, you know, meron kasi talaga yung feeling of release ng stresses natin whenever we do something satisfying in the moment na galit tayo. Like, mm. for example, whenever we say bad things to people, we release our anger to them. It's kind of stress-relieving, you know? Yeah, um, pag na it mo. all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, we also have to be considerate of the negative effect that uh-huh. it can do to other people. So, yeah. ayun. Yung impulsiveness, it's... I think it's it's really human nature that we tend to be like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you want to improve on it, you have to mm-hmm. practice not to make sudden decisions. Exactly. Totoo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ikaw ba? Ano ba mga instances mo? Na? Sa impulsiveness, uh, ikaw, na- nabanggit mo yung emotion. So, wala na akong madadagdag doon. Siguro ito yung napansin kong masasabi kong impulsive ka, uh, matured ka na sa ganyang aspect. Yung mga changes sa life natin. For example, if we're going to quit our job, if we're going to stay in our job, the moment na we know how to weigh the situation, masasabi kong matured ka na. Kasi minsan, for example, sa trabaho, onting conflict lang, baka sumuko ka na agad. Mm-hmm. E part lang naman yun ng journey. Or kunwari sa relationship, baka naman pwede mo pa namang ayusin yun gusto mo FO na agad or gusto mo break na kayo agad, eh baka pwede pa namang ayusin. So, knowing when to give up and knowing when not to give up and to still fight for it is one sign of maturity, I guess. And sa akin naman, personally, masyashare ko dyan, is yung pagbili ko ng mga gamit. <laughs> I know this is very mababaw, but <laughs> hindi, and natutuwa talaga ako kasi, ano, nung, like, di ba nabanggit, may topic tayo, may episode tayo about finances. A feeling, baka sabi ng mga tao, taray mga coach ba tayo dito? Hindi naman. Hindi naman. I mean, <laughs> before kasi, nung, di ba, nung fresh grad, parang, todo bili ako, very yolo. So, ngayon, na- naging proud ako sa sarili ko kasi may nabasa akong post na, you, parang, ano yung 15 days mong pag-iisipan bago mo bilhin yung bagay. Tapos apply ko siya, I did a lot of research about it. Paano siya gamitin, ano yung pros and cons niya, pang long term. Iyon pala, iniisip ko na siya kung pang long term ba to. Baka naman ngayon ko lang siya kailangan kasi nagandahan na ko, baka hindi ko naman gagamitin. Ngayon iniisip ko na siya kung paano siya magbe-benefit sa akin in a long run. So, ayun. <laughs> um, very impulsive ako dati. Lalo na ngayon ng mga ads. Diba? Minsan nga, na, 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 ano na ako eh, kasi add to cart tayo ng add to cart. Ano na pag ganyang 7-7, diba? Or mga 8-8, whatever, sa Lazada or Shopee. Baka naman siya. <laughs> so, yun. Nawala yung impulsiveness ko dun te. Nag-iisip na ako ngayon kung bibilin ko ba o hindi yung isang bagay. So, yun. I think isa yun sa sh- sign din na nagmamature ka. Um, what else? Making decisions. How can we say mm-hmm. na mature tayo in terms of making decisions since relevant to sa pagiging impulsive. Parang yung nabanggit mo din that when we weigh the pros and cons and we really think about it, siguro malaking factor than the one that we have mentioned in the previous episode that you 
you know, you have to filter out the opinions and the sayings of other people that you have to consider in terms of making a decision. Yeah. So, hindi rin may iwasan that whenever we do something different in our lives, mm-hmm. sometimes other people are getting affected. But I think every decision has a, you know, sacrifice mm-hmm. and some consideration of what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're willing to endure. So, being able to think about that in a rational, in a in a balance of a thinking and feeling, rational and emotional way, yeah, is a sign of you know maturity mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in That's terms true. of decision making. Oh, and also relevant to uh, decision making, yung taking risks, because parang mm-hmm. laging siya sabi you have to take risks in life. May risk ka ng risk, but I just realized recently that not all risks are worth it. It take because you have to weigh the situation. When we take risks, we have to lose something. May, may i-invest ka dyan. It's either emotions, time, effort, or money, whatever, kung ano man yung i-ano mo, i-risk mo. So, minsan, ano tayo, nakatingin tayo dun sa makukuha natin, sa gains. Sige, magtitake yeah. ako ng risk kasi ito pala yung makukuha ko, ang laki. Mm-hmm. Pero, lagi natin, siguro, masasabi kong matured ka na sa pagtitake ng risk. Kapag wini-weigh mo yung L- l- ayun, losses and gains ng risk mo. So, kung yung magigain mo is talagang worth it, bawi ko ano yung sinugal mo, then take risk. Pero kung it's the other way around, ang daming mawawala sa'yo, tapos yung balik sa'yo, konti lang, or yung magiging benefit ng risk mo, wag na. Kasi minsan, mm-hmm. yun nga, mali yung, and, 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 wala masasabing mali, but I think, hindi tama yung ganun eh, na mag-risk ka lang, ma- malay mo naman, pero, Bago ka mag-risk, kailangan mo mag-strategize, kailangan mag-research, kailangan mo ganyan. Hindi, papasok din to sa impulsiveness. ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Tapos, isipin mo rin kung yung mawawala ba sa'yo, gano'n ka-importante sa buhay mo. Kung yung ma- mawawala naman sa'yo, kaya mong mawala yun sa'yo. Like, kunwari, time, effort, kasi yung nababawi naman yung mga yun. Then, take risk. Pero mm-hmm. kung kunwari, buhay mo yung nakasalalay doon or relationship mo sa isang tao or family mo or malaking pera yun. And I think it's not worth it. So, I think isa yun sa um, mm-hmm. aspect ng maturity. What else? Yes. Mm-hmm. Tingin ko kasi sa bawat critical or major decisions that we do, we also have to, yun nga, consider the losses. And, but mo naman gagawin if you're not even willing to mm-hmm. lose something, di ba? I think another factor then that I can mention to uh, say that we are closer to the maturity, maturity that we are aiming for is that knowing when we are at fault and mm-hmm. claiming our mistakes Mm-hmm. And recognizing them and admitting to them. Mm. So if you know that you're wrong, and uh, alam mo yun, Marin, I am also guilty with this. Na I know that I am at fault, but there are times that I couldn't help. Sometimes I couldn't. I don't even notice. But before I say sorry, I try to justify what I did. Like uh... I'm, I'm sorry, pero kasi ikaw eh, pero kasi I only did it because you blah blah blah. So. Again, mm-hmm. you are at fault. So all you have to do is same. Just, you know, <laughs> say sorry, mm. and you have to be accountable with what you did, and try not to put the weight of your mistakes on other people's yeah. shoulders. Yeah, that's very important. So, mm-hmm. I, that's true. That's true. And also mm-hmm. relevant then, Jan, yung when we share a certain scenario. Let's say may nakaaway tayo or may nagkar ng conflict. Dito yung papasok yung maturity in terms of conflict. Yung pag nagkukwento tayo, laging parang tayo yung tama. Alibawa, may nangyari, nakaaway kayo or whatever. Kukwento mo siya sa friend mo, parang ikaw yung laging tama. Tapos hindi mo na ikukwento yung mga mabubuting bagay na ginawa nung nakaaway mo. I think it's mm-hmm. immature. So, when we when we share a story like away or conflict or whatever, I think dapat i-highlight mo rin yung magandang nangyari sa inyo nung taong yun. Or, kumbaga, try to say this these phrases na uh, I don't want to bad mouth him or her kasi naging mabuti siya sa akin kasi ito yung mga ginawa niya. So, para hindi naman sobrang sama ng tingin nung, nung isang tao dun sa kaaway mo. So, I think it's also a sign of maturity. Yung kahit ginawang ka ng masama nung isang tao or kahit 
meron nakakainis siyang ginawa. Hina-highlight mo pa rin yung mabubuting bagay na ginawa niya sa iyo. I think sign yes. niya ng maturity. And also mm-hmm. forgiving someone without saying sorry is talagang sobrang matured ng mga taong gumagawa nun. Kasi it's not easy to forgive someone na hindi nagsusorry. Lalo na kapag hindi ka nakagante. Di ba may mga times na parang gusto mong gumante pero wala kang magawa. You cannot explain yourself. So, ang dami kong hugot. But yeah, <laughs> yun. Baka sabi ng iba, naghugot ng love life. Hindi. Ibig sabihin, sa lahat, ng, sa lahat ng sitwasyon to. Yun. Ano pa? Ano yes. pa te? Meron pa na akong gustong mm-hmm. ano, itagdag dun sa nabanggit mo kanina. Kasi I super agree that whenever we tell someone our side of the story, like for example, we had this conflict with other people. Siyempre, magkukwento tayo sa friends natin. Yeah. I think it's a very good sign of maturity that you are careful not to put a really bad image to that people that you have, to that person that you had a conflict with. It's not just, ito yung mga masasamang nagawa niya sa akin, or this is what he did to me, it's really bad, it made me feel awful. You have to, you know, highlight also the positive that, things. Uh, the positive things, and at the same time, you have to be understanding na siguro kaya niya to nagawa is dahil ganito yung situation niya. Exactly. And hindi ko naman sinasabi na entirely masama siyang tao because he did a lot of yeah. good things mm-hmm. and he has contributed a lot in my life but this is what happened. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. Um, being, you know, being mindful of the bad image that we put to other people is a good sign of maturity. Kasi may mga ganyan akong uh, instances. Like for example, I haven't met this person yet pero dahil yung kaibigan ko nagkaaway sila and may prejudice yung, ka na eh may negative may prejudice, prejudice ka na oh, oh exactly. exactly parang ang sama na ng tingin ko dun sa tao because mm. i feel like he's this kind of person yeah. na ganito pala pati niya ang sama pala ganyan ganyan mm. so you know you have to really put give the benefit of the doubt nga yeah importante yan and you don't have to Uh, jump into conclusions and judge someone just because of the stories that you hear from other people unless that's you experience true. it firsthand. So That's true, you know. that's true. And that's also, true. gusto ko i-highlight dyan na, ewan ko ha, it's something that I've realized recently. Sometimes we meet people, tapos parang tinutulot na makita nila yung worst natin kasi talagang we're not meant to be to stay in a re- to stay with the relationship that we have with them. I mean, kunare sa office parang nakita na highlight yung pinaka pangit na ugali mo kasi baka hindi ka talaga meant magstay doon. Tapos mm-hmm. meron naman tao na pag na-meet mo, parang blessing ka sa kanila. Parang oh my god, you're such a good person, you're such an amazing person, you're one of the best thing that happened to me because maybe that person talaga is really meant to stay in your life. So yun na, parang may, may, may story yan eh. May kanya-kanyang angulo. So, lagi nating iisipin na may, may worst side, may, may, may best side yung tao. So, wag tayong mag... Though mahirap to. Ako, amin, aminin ko rin yan. Minsan judgmental din ako. Parang, ang sabi sa akin? Like, ano? Especially yung, eto ha, like yung mga ex ng friends natin. Siyempre, pag nagkukwento oh, naman, parang, ayun. ang sama. So, parang ako, pag nakikita ko yung, kunwari, ex ng friend ko, hu, 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 kala mo naman. Tapos parang, hindi na ako oh, naniniwala oh. sa kanya. I think we have to, ano, change that. Kasi, hindi naman natin kilala yung tao. Malay mo, nagkamali siya ng time na yun. Tapos malay mo, all throughout the years, nagbago naman na siya, di ba? Pwede naman magbago ang isang tao eh. Sana ma-educate namin kayo na wag, wag tayong very quick to judge, di ba? Okay, so what about uh, maturity in terms of, you know, being online? As we all know, we're, some people, they tend to relieve their stresses by expressing their emotions and their feelings online. Mm. And we have nothing against that. But, you know, as we have mentioned in the previous episodes before, when you express your feelings online, you have to also be responsible with whatever mm-hmm. you say. So, paano mo masasabi that you are emotionally mature or responsible enough with what you are putting or saying online? Mm-hmm. Can you give me an example on that? Okay. Mukhang may hugot ako dito. Jejoke. <laughs> anyways, um, yung term kasi na what, 
what are the things that we should and we should not post online? It's very subjective, right? Because yung level ng privacy ng iba't ibang tao, iba-iba. So there are people who are comfortable to to post their pictures online, their selfies. There are people na ayaw mag-post talaga kahit isang selfie sa social media. Merong mga yep. tao na comfortable mag-share ng school nila, ng life changes nila, ng work Every nila day. online. Every yeah, Every especially kung, let's say, influencer yan. Kung friend mo, vlogger, influencer, that's normal. May tao Or naman na fire. totally, exactly, may tao din na totally ayaw niya talagang sabihin, gusto niya misteryosong tao siya sa Facebook. May ganun. So, papasok yung maturity niyan, I think, if yung naghihingi ka ng consent sa friend mo, Kunari, no, nag-outing kayo, tanong ka sa friend mo, okay ba sa yung ipost ko tong picture na to? Kasi mamaya hindi okay sa kanya. So, doon papasok yung boundaries, yung respect. Ngayon, sa sarili mo naman, masasabi kong uh, matured ka online. Kapag yung, you don't overshare. Kasi ako, ako ha, ito yung perception ko sa social media, especially sa Facebook. Parang feeling ko, kapag nag-post ako, parang kang nakikita ka nila na nakahubad. Kasi nila in-expose mo yung sarili mo, nagiging vulnerable ka. And yung social media, wala, that's out of your control. Aminin natin may mga barkada na nagsiscreenshot ng post, tas isi-send sa GC. Merong yep. mga, mga nagsiscreenshot ng status mo, ng post mo, tas isi-send sa friend nila. Gawain niya ng marami. So, ngayon, kung, yun, kung nag-iisip ka, think before you click what you share, even also yung ano ka nagka-caption ng photo, photos, I think that's one sign of maturity. And yung privacy settings ng Facebook mo, I guess, kasama rin yan ate. Kasi may mga, ako ha, personally, ewan ko kung ginagawa mo to, may mga memes ako na naka-custom siya. <laughs> hindi, yep. ko to, hindi ko to i-share kay ganito, ganyan. Tapos meron akong albums na naka-only me lang, meron akong mm-hmm. status na naka-public kasi feeling ko that mabasa yon ng lahat. Meron na yung friends lang. Meron friends of friends. So, ina- inaaral ko siya bago ko talaga siya i-post. Tapos lagi kong iniisip, ito, tip lang, pag nag-post ka, isipin mo, third person ka na makakabasa ng post mo. Anong magiging reaction mo? Let's say, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna post this, ano, lengthy status or photo. Pag nakita to ng ibang tao, on, on a different perspective, anong masasabi mo? Eh, iba yung social media, hindi mo mapapaliwanag yung sarili mo sa ibang tao. Yung ibang tao na nakita ng post mo, pag chinare niya yun sa ibang tao, iba na yung perception nila sa'yo. So, in, napaka, napaka-delikado niyan. So, ayan. Ikaw ba? Paano mo masasabi? Mature yung tao sa social media. Um, at- I want to go back to what you mentioned a while ago in terms of, you know, posting pictures without consent of other people. Yeah. Like, for example, nakita ko nga tong isang post eh. She pointed out that not a lot of people are comfortable with their photos being posted online without their consent. Like, for example, happy birthday photo na mm-hmm. people just wanted to greet you. But then, you know, merong, merong really like us, merong mga tao na very conscious about the, yeah. the photos that are being posted online and we cannot blame them. We cannot accuse them of being too sensitive or ang arte mo and hey, that's parang, her privacy. That's her definition of privacy. Oh. Yes. And at the same time, um, if you do that and the person whose picture you posted feels bad about it, and feeling niya na ruin yung self confidence niya and all that i think you also have to be mindful of that you know kasi parang merong yung mga tao na magpo-post ng picture mo na nandoon sila kasama mo sila kumbaga tas ang ganda mm. nila doon tas ikaw mukha kang ewan diba? exactly syempre even message mo naman so diba? parang pwede bang ano is it okay if you take crap it na lang crap mo kasi ganyan yung sense mo na lang ganun and then don't judge them if they ask you yeah. nicely to it down or you know delete mm-hmm. the post because it's their face not yours exactly so they have the call they have the call well of whether you are allowed to post it or yeah. not because uh-huh. it's their photo uh and not yours uh-huh. so ayun, we have to be mindful with that don't tag them as maarte or exactly um, self-conscious because it's not easy for everyone to mm-hmm. deal with all this Mm-hmm. with all the things that's happening online sabi mo yeah. nga, it's like a wilderness out there hindi mo yeah. alam kung ano yung mga mm-hmm. na mangyayari eh. so mm-hmm. I also agree with what you mentioned na a lot of people definitely take screenshots of your yeah. status uh-huh. 
send it to their GCs. I do that personally. Yeah. And oh. I I do it privately with my friends. Yeah. And hindi mo naman talaga may I, I I don't want to be a hypocrite. I do judge people sometimes, but I don't do it publicly. I do it with yeah. uh, in a private space. And Totoo. I make sure that, you know, I don't hurt people in the process. I mean, Totoo. maganda yung advice mo that, you know, you have to really think about what you're going to post. But at the same time, there are really people who are confident with what they post and they yeah. don't really care what other people will think. And that's yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But, you know, um, siguro meron lang siguro boundaries and limitations in terms of like if yung post mo ba, does it cause violence or does it encourage people to do bad things or mm-hmm. to do negative things or hurt themselves? Mm-hmm. If you think naman that it's not harmful and it doesn't encourage self-harm, so tingin ko, go ahead, do whatever you want. It's your profile, it's your status. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, wag kang, I mean, hindi naman wag kang mahurt. But if someone judges you or gives a negative comment on your post or you mm-hmm. learn that all your people are talking behind your back, you should accept it because it's, you know, the consequence of what you did. Yeah. Of mm-hmm, posting mm-hmm. it online. So uh-huh. That's yeah. true. Kung ayaw mong ma-judge, ba't ka nag-post in the, in the first place? And also, if may I just add to that, you have to also, you have to consider as well kung may maruruin ka bang relationship sa uh, yeah. af- affiliated na organization na kinabibilangan mo. Let's say, for example, in your company, you know na your company is very strict with this privacy, baka kakapost mo, makall out ka ng HR dyan. Or sa ating INC members sa church, we know naman na there are a lot of things na we should consider before we post something, di ba? Like, everything, yung... yung Paano, yung post natin, yung damit natin, yung words, choice of words natin. So, if alam natin na meron tayong, yun nga, affiliated tayo with a, with an organization, with a church, with a company, consider din natin yun. Lagi, lagi, yeah. lagi natin titignan na may mga mata na nakabantay sa atin. Kahit konti yung followers mo. Diba? Mm-hmm. Napaka-powerful ng social media. So, maging maingat talaga tayo doon. Tsaka, we cannot just say sorry lang eh. Sorry na post ko, di ba? Yung mga ganyang katwiran. Sana pala hindi ko na lang pinost para di kagalit. But, you know, the damage has been <laughs> done. <Yeah, man. laughs> the, the damage has been done. And ito pa yung isa pang ayoko ha. Yung bukod sa mga ganun. Like, for example, yung, yung may iba tayong friend na tatag ko na ba yung mga ganit? Tatag ko na ba si ganito? Yung mga ganyan, naiinis ako sa ganyan kapag kunyari may kaaway ka or kunyari may, may crush ka or in a relationship ka, tag mo si ganito. Kasi parang ingot, ba't kailangan mo itag sa mga memes? Ay- ayoko, very particular ako sa ganun. Kasi pag, a- ako mini ko, stalker ako. I, no, I'm not a stalker. I investigate. So minsan tinitingnan ko yung <laughs> I don't know how you put it that way. Exactly. I'm not a stalker, I just do my research. I investigate. I investigate. I'm an FBI agent in terms of stalking. So, like, kunari, when I stalk someone, tinitingnan ko kung ano rin yung mga nilalike niyang page, tinitingnan ko kung ano yung mga nireactan niya. So, that way, malalaman ko, ah, ito pala mga gusto nitong taong to. So, kapag, kunari, yung, alimbawa, yung mga, mga memes na about sa mga sawi, sa broken hearted, sa taga ng friends mo, syempre nagpa-pop up yun sa news feed. So parang magkakaroon ng perception, hala, siguro broken hearted to si Dave. Ayaw ko nang ganun, kasi parang, I'm very private, especially like sa love life, yung iba, hindi pa kayo nagpo-post na ng story. <laughs> Di ba iba ganun? Parang excited masyado. I mean, I have nothing against with that, pero ayaw ko nang, gin- ayaw ko nang basta ayaw ko nang pinupost yung mga bagay-bagay sa social media without my consent. And in other countries, I'm not sure here in the Philippines, but I think in other countries, they can sue you. Kapag na-post yung, ano, yung picture mo, di ba, yung, I have a Korean friend, and she's very, very private. Talagang, nag, ayaw niya magpa-picture. Sabi niya, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't take pictures. Sabi niya, wala siyang social media, wala siyang anything. Sabi niya, people, I mean, Koreans can sue you kapag ganyan na nagpo-post ka. So, dito sa oh, Philippines, that's, that's great. Sabi ko nga, I admire their government for that, ano, law. Kasi, at least, they respect nila yung boundaries. Unlike here in the Philippines, like what you've said earlier, if you said no, and if you ask the person na politely, na please delete the photo, people will will tag you as maarte, as sensitive, mm-hmm. Diba? So, I, I, ewan ko, ba't ganun yung mentality natin? Anyways, so that's out, out of our control. We have to be mindful na lang of what we post. And what else? Um, 
I think marami pa marami pa tong maturity hindi tayo matatapos sa conversation natin. Uh-huh. I think before we ha- we ha- we end this episode, I want to say na we can never be really 100% matured sa buhay. Even our parents, 'di ba? Sometimes may mga like conflicts or whatever sila na, na overlook, but we can always have a teachable heart to improve ourselves. So as long as we're always receptive to criticisms, we're always receptive to advice from the people around us. Unti unti yan, de ba nagmamature ka? And I want to highlight as well that maturity can't be measured by age. Na sa sabihin bata ka pa kasi wala ka pang alam. Huh? Nung ganyang edad ko, ganyan-ganyan ako. Ang hilig mag-compare eh. Pero we have to be become open-minded. Na minsan, bata yan, pero malay mo, mas matalino pa yan sa'yo. Bata yan, pero malay mo, sa ganitong field, mas marami pa siyang alam kesa sa'yo. ba? Diba? Wag nating, ano, wag nating sabihin sa mga bata yan. Kasi, w- wala, wala sa edad yan, sa experience yan. Anyway, kala mo naman experience talaga. Actually, so, ayun lang. Ikaw, any final thoughts? That's true. I agree with that. Yung judging people and their maturity based on their age because you know there are all these who haven't emotionally matured and there are also yeah. the younger generation who has mm. you know have a wider who have a wider point of view in life and must understanding and open minded in terms mm-hmm. of the different issues and things yeah so i can just say for final thoughts is that uh just like everything else in life really maturity is you know a work in progress and uh, it really depends on our standards or mm-hmm. values of whether we can tag ourselves as um mature in the things that we mm-hmm. do because we can't really uh, expect perfection you know mm-hmm. in our personalities so we'll always have our flaws and mistakes and uh, i think that's where the lesson comes from usually so Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, sorry, last na last na to, dagdag ko din na yung mga nagko-compare ng level ng maturity or yung what worked for them might also work for you. So I I want to say, I want to highlight na just because this um what method worked for you in the past, i-apply mo rin yun sa ibang tao. Nung bata ako ganito ginawa ko. Kami nga ganito mm-hmm. eh. Iba-iba ang tao. Unique ang bawat individual. And just because someone is childlike, it doesn't mean that they're not matured. Okay? So there are people na para lang silang bata kumilos. Pero come on, read between the lines. Diba? Try to talk to them in person. No, you can't really <laughs> judge someone by the way they act. Exactly. Because you know, yung mga childlike na yan na dyan na judge mo na parang ang immature, parang, parang ang bata. bata. You know, <laughs> minsan yan yung mga taong mas malalim pa yung perception. So, that's all for our episode. So, yun lang. Bye-bye. <laughs> TikTok's podcast is also on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe.